Okay, so I have my super guy and I want to actually attach his cape. So right now I just have my guy and his mesh is basically an end rigid object and now I have his cape. I'm going to convert that right now. So end mesh, create end cloth and I'll worry about its base settings a little bit later. Right now when I play it back it pretty much just falls to the ground. Now, as you can see, I've also modeled it so it's sort of leaning toward this mesh. That's usually a good way to start this process. Make sure that you've modeled the cape so that it's uh, in a position where it's either looks like it's already attached or at least close to being attached. It'll make this part a little easier. So now what I could do is I could use a transform constraint and just constrain certain points and then try to manipulate it into position. Or I can do something like this. Since it's end cloth, I'm just going to select it, shift select my end rigid, go to end constraint, and tell it to attract matching mesh. Now, as soon as I do that, you're going to see something, or as soon as you do that, you're going to see something like this, where you can see all the points of the mesh are trying to attach themselves to the body of the end rigid. It's basically trying to attract to the closest points to the top of the mesh. Uh, so usually what you want to do is you want to go into the dynamic constraint uh, uh, options which are in your attribute editor. Uh, as soon as you create the end constraint it'll be already selected so just go to your attribute editor, you can press control A if you don't know how to get your attribute editor and go down to where it says connection method. Now by default it's going to be set up as component order. Switch it to within max distance and as you can see immediately it's only showing a very small portion of the cape being controlled by the body so if I actually went now and I just hit play you can see that it's trying to cling just by those two points now what you can do is you can actually increase the amount of points that are actually being uh, manipulated just by increasing your max distance so just drag the slider up and it'll actually display it on screen you can see the points take control and one reason you model you want to try and model the cape closer to his uh, closer to the character's back is so that it will immediately try to grab those points first now I see I had one here that was lower in the back that was pretty close but that's kind of probably gonna be alright right now it's set for spring and we'll see how that's gonna work out now spring is usually good because it doesn't pull it too close to the mesh it pulls it in tight as you can see and it stay, stays aligned and it looks pretty good. Now if I even take my end rigid and I'm going to switch myself into end saw into a interactive playback mode just so I can test how well this cape is staying attached. So now I'm going to switch to my move tool. I'm just going to move them around a little bit and see how well the cape stays. So it looks like the cape is staying attached pretty well. It's bouncing back and bouncing around a little bit, but that can be adjusted easily. So don't forget, when you have your dynamic constraint selected, you can always go in and change the constraint method. Uh, let's try rubber band. That's usually a little more solid, but not as uh, restrictive as weld. Now don't forget that Besides adjusting, besides adjusting the constraint method, you can also come in and adjust the strength of the constraint. By default, it's only set at about 0.8, so you have a lot of room to breathe there. So you can always turn it up a little bit if you think it needs to cling a little tighter to the surface, just to uh, make sure everything is going to stay in place while you're working. And don't forget you have a lot of other settings you can play with. Uh, usually it's going to be glue strength and strength are going to be the main ones you're going to need to use. And you can play around with some of the other settings like uh, custom density which helps you to manipulate where it's actually trying to connect to the surface just by sort of creating a range of influence for uh, its attempt to make connections to a surface. Don't forget this connection method is actually really great uh, for things like shirts and pants and any other type of uh, clothing 
uh, especially since it can you can actually control how much of the geometry is actually controlling the shirt or pants uh, partially based on the distance of the geometry from the surface and also of course according to the uh, dynamic uh, constraint settings.